Hey guys, Danny here with another LEGO Star Wars review for you. So today we have the 10144 Sandcrawler. So this set came out in the year 2005. It contains 1,669 pieces. And when this set came out originally, it cost 140 US dollars. So first of all guys, let me just say that I apologize for not having as much video content as I would like to on this channel. I've just been very busy. In fact, I'm gonna announce it to you guys right now. Um, this channel will be changed and um, you will see more of that um, as time goes on and uh, so stay tuned for that there will be a big change in this channel a big announcement so stay tuned for that guys so that's why I've been so busy with that and haven't been um, uploading Lego videos as I like but on to the review um, this set first of all uh, really cool set for a while, it had very exclusive minifigures. There's 11 minifigures here in total. And for a while, um, a lot of them were exclusive to this set. Not anymore, but I'll get onto that in a second. But definitely a really cool set, and definitely really cool how you build it. First of all, you build this little tiny black piece here. You, you just uh, put these pieces down. They're like those smooth, flat pieces. And then you just stack and you stack these brown pieces. You see how like they're all different colors and shapes. You just stack, 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 and then you build the top part. And once you do that, you put the tires and then you put this little ramp on. So definitely a very interesting build. Um, even though it is, um, I would recommend this set for an experienced builder. I don't remember it being a particularly hard build. So as I was saying, you get 11 minifigures and let's get onto them. So here we have a Jawa. These guys are really cool. They have the short legs, as you can see, and they have their little, uh, like, stun guns that they used on the droids. So you get three Jawas. Next, we get Owen Lars. And Owen Lars was one of those minifigures that used to be exclusive to this set, but they did make a new sand crawler that came out in the year 2014. It's actually still available. And that sand crawler, guys, by the way, it's actually uh, it's much bigger than, than this set. Uh, that set has like 3,000 pieces. This one only has 1,600. So, you know, much bigger set. But here we have Owen Lars, and he is no longer exclusive because of that new sand crawler. Here we have a treadmill droid. This thing, um, let's just call it a minifigure. Uh, this minifigure used to be exclusive to this set as well, but with the new sand crawler, they made a redesign of him. Next, we have R5D4. And if you guys remember from the movie, this was the droid that uh, had a bad motivator, so Luke ended up purchasing R2D2. Here we have our main characters. Here we have R2-D2. This is a really old version of R2-D2. And here we have C-3PO. Both really cool. Um, oh, I forgot about this guy. So both of these minifigures were exclusive to the set before they made the, the new sand crawler. But anyway, this one is, what was his name? It was, oh, it was R1-G4. And he was basically an astromech droid, like I would assume a really old astromech in the Star Wars universe. And, la and lastly, we have an ASP droid. I don't know what exactly these droids did. I'm sure someone will tell me, like, what their purpose was. And lastly, oh, I apologize. We actually have 12 minifigures, or... Do we not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, we have 11. Yeah, so 10 over here, 11 right here. I just keep them up here, and this is a gunk droid. Okay. So, guys, as I was saying, this was the first sand crawler that came out. Then they made one in 2014. So... So... Hold on. Oh, right here. So all four of these minifigures were exclusive to that set, to that to this set. All many all all four of these minifigures were exclusive to this set, but that is no longer the case with the new Sandcrawler set. But still, if you want these versions of the minifigures, you can only pick them up in this set. 
And interestingly enough, I did some research. The new sand crawler does not include this ASAP droid. So this is the only minifigure that remains exclusive to this set. Which I find quite interesting. And if you guys were curious, Gonk Droids, they did come out in a couple of other sets. I don't remember, but uh, there were versions, versions made before uh, this set. And they did make a new version of him in the, in the new Sandcrawler set. Okay, guys, so I will post pictures of comparing uh, these minifigures with the minifigures in the new Sandcrawler. So there you guys could see the difference in minifigures and how things have changed. One thing that Sandcrawler had that I'd like better was that you got Luke Skywalker in that set. I wish this set would have included Luke Skywalker, but you know, obviously it didn't. It only had Owen Lars. It would just be more movie accurate if it had Luke. But it doesn't take away from this set. This set is a really cool set, guys. So let's get on to it. So first of all, it's on these little uh, tracks. If, if I remember correctly, there's about like maybe 30 or 40 here, and you have to do it four times. So you do the math 30 times four or 40 times four, whatever it is. And you just line them up, and there's, and there's four different tractors here. And it rolls pretty well on, on any surface, really. This is a table with a cloth on top of it, and you see it, it rolls pretty smoothly. Cool thing as well, guys. And also, this set is just really, really detailed, especially the back here. You can see all the, the nice little detail pieces. Lego did really well with this set, guys. It, it, all the different colors, like this brown and like this uh, earth orange and this yellow that I guess you could see maybe are like stains from the sand or whatever. They have the top that looks really nice too. Definitely a really cool set. But anyway, back to what I was saying. The back here, you actually have this little knob here and if you spin this to the left, the wheels move to the left so you could sort of control where this thing is going which is a pretty neat feature okay inside here we have uh, the ramp where um, I would say cargo or maybe passengers can go up in and you can actually close it of course and put it down now there's actually something inside here if we pull it out it just slides out Here's a look of the inside. I'll show you guys a better look of the inside in one second. Here we have this little crane piece. And it's really, really cool. It's actually on a little rope and you can adjust it, you know, any way you like. You can adjust it like up or down. The many different uh, sections for it. Okay. And you can actually do something with this in the sand crawler. And I'll show that in a second. So let's put this to the side. Okay. So back onto here. As I was saying, the top portion of the sand crawler is really, really cool and just very detailed. I'll show you another look again of how nice it is. Okay. Some things you can do here, you can actually remove this piece and you can remove this piece and you can get a look of the interior here, which is pretty cool. This set actually does have some stickers. It has some stickers here in the front. This is supposed to be like the cockpit. And I don't recall if there's any more stickers. Um, I think there's a few more actually, but um, I'll show you them later on. But anyway, here we have the cockpit and we can actually open it up. And not too much inside there, but we can fit a jaw in there and he has the little controls here on the side. So definitely pretty neat. Okay. Now, one of the main features of this set is that you can actually remove one part of the ship. So if we hold here and hold there, we can actually remove this whole section off. And you can see it just smoothly fits on with a couple of little um, like peg pieces. So it's easy to remove it as you guys can see. Now here's a good look of the inside of the ship. So definitely pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys how this crane goes inside just so you guys can get a good look. There we go, it just slides onto here. You can also see the little mechanisms for the wheels and you guys can see how they spin left and right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And now 
we have the little area where the droids hang out during the, the movie. So definitely pretty cool and it has some cool little things in here that has like this little, uh, I would say this is like a maybe where they, if you guys remember from the movie that scene where there was like a droid and they put like a, they like, they like stinged him. I don't know if you guys remember that scene. And so they have that and they also have some controls in here and they do have more stickers. There's uh, stickers here, stickers there. You got some controls, you got some tools. One tool actually went here. So let's grab it. You got some tools that just hang on to here. You have a little wrench. You got like a little gas tank, more tools. So this is where you would put the minifigures as they're being transported. And there's a lot of room for them, surprisingly. You could put, you know, one droid, another droid, and so on. So pretty cool. And you just put it back like this. Come on. There we go. It's falling out for some reason. Okay, guys. So, other than one more thing, oops, something fell out. So, other than one more feature I'm about to show you guys, that's pretty much it for the sand crawler. Definitely a really cool set, and it's really cool how it has some playability on it too. So let's get on it. The last thing, and this is probably the coolest thing, is you can put uh, this little crane on top of here and it slides in like perfectly. And um, this is actually something we see very briefly in the movie. If you guys remember from episode 4, like when the droids are all walking out, there's a little scene where from somewhere high above the ship there's a droid being carried down and landed onto. And I think that is just something truly awesome. It is, it's, it's something that's just very movie accurate. And even though we barely see it, it's a fantastic touch by Lego. So let me show you how this works. So first of all, we have to bend this a little bit to, to get the, the crane far out over the edge. So let's do that. So this is about a good length and this little piece actually fell out, but it's a good thing that it did because if we use, let's use R2-D2 as an example, we can put this little piece on top of them, come on, like so, then we hang it from here, okay, like so, and then with the little rope that's here, we spin this knob, and he comes down. And this didn't actually happen to R2-D2, it happened to another one of these droids, I don't remember which one. But that is something that is just totally cool, in my opinion. Cool and movie accurate. So, definitely really neat how LEGO gives us this. And that is pretty much it to this set, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I will remind you guys again, stay tuned for a major change in this channel. I will announce it, so keep an eye out for that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please feel free to leave a like, leave a big thumbs up, um, any comments, and feel free to subscribe, guys. Peace.